Hello to the nation, Dr. PlayStation Nation here, talking to you guys from the Mod Spotlight world, guys. Today, we have a very special Mod Spotlight. Today is a pretty cool one, and I really do like it. Today, we're going to be talking about the Gravestone mod by Nightkosh, guys. This is definitely a cool mod. I suggest you check it out. You guys go install it. Uh, it's pretty easy to install. All you need is Forge Modeler and drag it into your mods folder. Uh, just drag the zip in there, and it should work just fine. This may look like it doesn't add a lot of items, but really, it adds a lot of cool game dynamics into the game, some new mobs, all that great stuff. So let's get right into it. We're going to start off with default things, you know, the easier things, the craftable things. So we're going to get tombstones here. We got, you know, a dog, a cat. We got some special blocks right here. This looks like nether brick, but it's not. We got a couple of, uh, you know, tombstone, bigger type memorial thingy doohickeys, uh, and we're going to go over them. So the gravestone, uh, simply all of these items you can't really craft. As you guys can see, I'm going through. There is no crafting recipe. You need to actually find them. The only thing is the chisel, and the chisel is a piece of iron over a stick. As well as there is a wither spawner, which you will find in catacombs, but we'll go over that. All of these things you need to find in normal Minecraft. And they can be found, you know, randomly spawning structures out in the distance somewhere. Uh, it would be extremely difficult for me to find them because I've had this world for so long, I would need to go a very far distance to find the generated structure. So, you're going to have to deal with me just telling you about them. So anyway, you're going to find all these generated structures in different places, and they do different things, as well as they do some pretty cool stuff when you die. So I'm actually going to go grab a diamond sword right now, and I'm going to grab a redstone torch, and I'm going to make it daytime for just a little bit longer. So if I do that, it should make it daytime. There we go. So first things first, I'm going to show you guys these, the mobs that spawn. So these mobs will spawn around these guys right here, you know, these, these dog and cat, uh dog and cat spawners so if I am going to spawn them down this is the skeleton dog you have the skeleton cat you have the spawn zombie dog and you have the zombie cat they will all light on fire during the day but they only spawn at night um, and they have a few little interesting traits so things like the skeleton dog and skeleton cat have less life but they sprint twice as fast things like the zombie dog as well as the uh, zombie cat will actually uh, kill their they'll kill peaceful creatures without being aggroed uh, and as well as they're pretty strong and, or they're they're strong and fast like a dog or a cat so uh, they're kind of like the equivalent except for cats don't really attack things uh, because they're they're neutral so anyway um that's kind of the, the items right there as for the other thing that i want to show you guys if i can actually switch out of game or what i'm going to do actually is i'm going to show you guys a couple features at once so i'm going to go over here i'm going to break this if i walk over this block right here and this block right here as you guys can see is the time trap this is going to be found in catacombs and if i walk over it boom it changes all the way to sunset which is pretty cool so it's going to go to sunset and if i go in here i can actually uh let's go like that Let's go like that, and then make it, uh, where is it? Nighttime. Midnight. So now I can sleep in here. I'm going to sleep in here, set my spawn point, and it's daytime. I'm going to set my spawn point, and then I'm going to run out here, and I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> and pretty much show you guys the general idea with what happens when uh, you die. So here we go. Boom. I'm dead. And as you guys saw right there, something pretty cool happened. This little gravestone uh, is, is placed exactly where I die, and if I right-click it, it can say, Dr. PlayStation hit the ground too hard. He lived zero days. So, because technically I have lived zero days, because I don't let the sun go through and all that great stuff. Um, and it also counts, I believe, from when um, the, the mob mod was inst installed. So... That's kind of cool. I definitely do like that. So that's basically how you're going to get these items. And if you want to, you know, pick it up and stuff, you're just going to break that down there. And you pick up all your items. So it's it's held inside the, the tombstone. So uh, as far as, you know, delay on uh, the items despawning, I'm not quite sure how that works. But it is definitely something cool, and I like that sort of game dynamic. So anyway, moving on from there, guys, you can also use this chisel, this chisel stool, chisel stool, this chisel tool that I showed you guys about. You can right-click on tombstones and you say, "Hi, how are you today?" And then if you go like that, and then I right-click, it'll say in the chat, "Hi, how are you today?" Which is kind of cool. Uh, as well as, like I said, if you walk over this, it'll change it to nighttime. And you got these guys, which are things that you will find uh, in the in different uh, cemeteries and catacombs and whatnot. And you need to use a silk 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 tone silk touch pick to break those or break this uh, or any of these things. Or you can break the blocks underneath these guys. Uh, or sorry, which one is it? Yeah, like you guys saw over there, I broke the block underneath it uh, to get the items. So you don't actually get the item, but you get the items from it if you break it like that. So. Anyway, boom, 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 and yeah, so 
Anyway, hopefully you guys kind of did enjoy, uh, did like that part. There is a second part to it that I'm going to get to uh, right now. So the second part to it is the the grave system uh, that uh, that you can kind of talk about here. So there's grave loot that goes along with this. So if you find these cemeteries lying around, you guys can actually loot them, which is kind of cool. Uh, and uh, there's different ones. So there's the warrior's grave, the miner's grave, wizards, workers, and adventurers grave. And I'm going to tell you the different things about them uh, because I don't want to go running around looking for one of each example. So Warrior's Grave, pretty uh, obvious, it's going to have either a sword or a bow, it'll have uh, different types of armor, and uh, you can even get diamond from it, it just depends on how rare the, the thing is, so it will have uh, almost full uh, armor all the time. You got the Miner's Grave, this is going to uh, have a different pick, it's going to have some, you know, just ran uh, different minerals with it. The Wizard's Grave, you will obviously find, you know, different things like enchantment books, so this is a way to actually get enchantment books in vanilla mine, or, like, just get them in vanilla Minecraft. Um, it'll also have potion ingredients, things like nether wart and sugar and all that stuff, as well as just flat out potions. The Worker's Grave, uh, it'll actually have, uh, different things like axes, shovels, other materials that you guys can use. And finally, the Adventurer's Grave, uh, this is where you're gonna find things like maps, uh, compasses, clocks, books that you can write in, so book and quill, uh, things like paintings and, um, uh, different things like cookies and uh, even creature eggs for things like cows and all that stuff so that'll really help you out so anyway that's kind of that part of it i really do like this mod i think it's something that you should definitely check out definitely at least try in your vanilla world see if you guys can find things um or sorry your survival world uh keep in mind though that it will uh you will need to you know look around a lot for them especially if you've used the world for a while because you're gonna need to load new chunks so uh, anyway, hopefully that works out for you guys. Hopefully uh, the mod easily installs for you guys. If you guys did like it, remember the like rating down below as well. Subscribe to the Nation if you already haven't. Uh, if you guys want to see a video on how to install Forge, it'll be in the description down below. But uh, anyway, hopefully you guys did enjoy. I'm the Doctor, and I'm out. Peace.